Hi folks, thanks for joining me again. I'm Stephen Crow and this is another watercolour demonstration. Today, got a seascape for you. Um, so we've got this sort of dark headland sort of contrasting against the, the light, light sky. I used a bit of gouache. I haven't used, I haven't used gouache for a long time, but I'm going to try experimenting with that a little bit, see how, what sort of effects I can create. So before we go any further, let me show you the colours I've used. So the palette, I've used ultramarine, Payne's Grey, Lizard and Crimson, a bit of raw sienna, and there's such a light red in there as well, I think. Oh, and just a little bit of gouache I've got down there. Um, the brushes, used a, a number three and a zero rigger brush. I've used a large hike, and then just used this old one and a half inch flat brush I found around the back of the easel. Right then. Now you may notice there's not so much rattling today. I actually realised, I don't know, well, it's still a little bit, but it's not as bad as it was. It was the villa flag was rattling against the back of the easel. So I might have to find somewhere else to put it. Um, but for now, let's take a bit of raw sienna. I'm going to take a bit of things in. A bit of blue. I'll start off with a sort of bit of that, and then a bit of crimson and Payne's grey added to it. A little bit darker, and I've already decided I will be drying this and rewetting it because I I don't think I'm going to be able to get what I want in the first first wash. Bit of red in there as well, red, crimson. Right, so that's going to be my, my first layer. It's dry that to set it in place. Someone asked, why do I dry it and then re-wet it again? I just want to fix that in place. And then once it's fixed in place, I can then add another layer over the top. If I didn't dry it, it'd be just be paint going everywhere. It'd just be a total mess. So that's now dried in place. Give it a quick spray. And then until I start whacking it, I ain't gonna know if that's enough or not. So let's start just bashing it in and just seeing what it looks like. Crimson and blue. That's definitely too dry down the bottom. some blending it in a bit Set that bit there. and depending on what this looks like when I finish we'll determine whether I do the same exercise again
Crimson Blue. Just push that in. Trying to refine it a little bit now. Some sort of effects and get with this. I did wet this down the bottom a little bit too much, still waiting for that to catch up with the drying process. What I want to do in the meantime, I do want to darken, I want this little bit corner there a bit darker. experiment with I have got some gouache that I bought recently um, we'll find it some Windsor and Newton gouache so I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on just just see what it looks like what sort of effects it creates um, before I get back to putting some dark so I'm, so I'm just gonna dry the brush I'm just going to go into the corner of it. It might work actually if I just dry it a little bit slightly. You know, I remember watching Bob Ross and he just sort of twists, twists the brush around. I 
think that's enough faffing around with the sky area. What I need is like a... I'll tell you what I might use. What I found around the back, when I was messing about moving the, 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 um, the flag, I found my old uh, flat brush. When I used to... Before I started using um, this sort of Ron Ranson's fast and loose method, I was, I was copying Charles Evans. Um, and he uses flat brushes like this. And I haven't used this. I haven't used this for absolutely ages, but I love, I love the chisel edge to it, which I can't get on mine at the moment, because I need a new brush. Um, mine's uh, getting a bit worn now, so if I can get the chisel edge on the... because I need it on the, the horizon line. I don't know how well you can see that. But, so what I'm going to do is let's just have a, a mess about with this just see what it looks like um we're just giving some of those the darks that i've been using i don't know if that's going to be quite enough yet i'm going quite low yeah that's uh that is a nice sharp edge I'm um, just going to do it very, very slight, I think. Bits of this, actually this handle, it's just crumbling. The whole thing's just crumbling away. Um, hang on a minute, let's just get rid of this. It's on this level, so something like this. Can't resist. Just scraping the odd little. Just. As usual, I've done too much, so I'm just going to paint over where I've gone too far. Just sweep this round a bit. I'm, it's it's too. It's not quite. Doesn't quite look right. I'll just sweep this round. Looks like a little little bye. Um, a little bit darker. Right, I think that's, that's enough with that brush, I think. Maybe come back again at a later date for that one. Um, I'll just give that a quick dry down the bottom.
Back to the height brush. I'm just going to take a pop a bit more. It's a little bit darker. Get the time it leaves a little bit more subtle. Quick dry. I'm going to put some little boats on the horizon, so I'm going to use that gouache on me on me what's it. I'm just going to switch to the size zero rigger brush, and I'm just going to just dip the tip, just dip the tip in. Um, where should I have the boats? I have one there. Over here, I think. The one there. Little seagulls up there, and I'm going to call that one finished. I think. Grab the other rigger brush. I'm just going to sign this one. On this one down in the corner down there and I'm going to call that one done so let's stick a, a mount on that now and see what it looks like so as I finished painting all mounted up and uh, I think the first thing that strikes me although I used um, I'm trying to work out now what colors I did use I used the ultramarine one two three four I think I used light red, I can't remember now. There's like five colours. 
I've sort of I've over mixed it so they're all it's all very very same. I would have liked a bit more variation in colour, but something to have learned for next time. Um, as it happens, most of it is sort of it looks like ultramarine and a lizard in crimson sort of mixed with a bit of Payne's grey mixed in for the for the extra dark sections. Um, so there was a couple of washes, put the first one on, then dried, then added the second one. You can see there's a little bit of gouache got in there as well, just to get a bit more sort of variation and texture and interest in the sky area. Um, a few seagulls as well amongst all the clouds. Use the the flat brush, three quarter, the one and a half inch flat brush, just to get some sharp edges on these distant lands along the horizon. And just again, use a bit of gouache there for the yachts. And then coming down, you see what I've tried to capture the light, brushed in the darks either side, capture the light from the sky into the water, and then sort of swept the land around just to create this sort of bay effect. Scratch a few rocks in there, just using the corner of a plastic card. Just to complete the scene. So I hope you enjoy that. Thanks always for watching for your support. Do join me over on patreon.com slash Stephen Crane if you get the chance. Um, until next time, keep practicing. If you've got any questions, please ask, and I'll see you again soon.